How do you get set for that? Well, you go to the Detroit Lions practice facility. That's what those Oriole players did. Trey Mancini was amongst them. Mr. Fry was the holder. Mancini was the kicker. Oh, it's up and it is good. Good job, Trey. That's accurate. Yeah, <laughs> say about 45 yards. Um, but no, we, we lined up where the extra point would be, and uh, it's harder than it looks for sure. Um, and I wasn't really wearing kicking shoes, but uh, I think if there was a line there, it probably would have gotten blocked. <laughs> have you done that before? Did you? Were you a kicker? Yeah, in high school, all the time, we'd actually go to um, our high school team's football field and kick field goals. We'd play like horse like you would in basketball, but with field goals. So, um, yeah, we used to do it all the time growing up, and it, it was really fun. So I haven't kicked a field goal probably since then, so I was a little rusty. Was there ever a thought that maybe you'd go in that direction rather than this one? Absolutely not. No, no. Um, yeah, I don't have the best kicking leg. I think you can see that on the video, too. <laughs> all right, let's talk a little baseball. How tough is this year for a player? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's been incredibly tough. Uh, we're in the first year of a rebuild, and everybody knows that, and, and we all have so much to play for. And I think there's been a lot of good to come out of this year. I mean, you see so many so many guys have really made a name for themselves. I mean, we got a guy in Alberto competing for the batting title right now. Santander showed that he's a you know, bona fide big leaguer. He deserves to be out there every day. Um, you see guys like Hunter Harvey coming up, um, and there, there's countless others. John Means was an all-star as a rookie this year. Um, so there's a lot of good things happening, and, and I think it's exciting for the future, and, and it's only going to get better from here. How do you feel about the season for yourself? I feel good about it. Um, you know, on a personal level, I think there's still some things I want to work on in the off season and, and improve upon, and, and Hyder and I actually kind of talked about that the other day, that we think, you know, I, we're, vo we're very happy with with how the year went for me, but we both think that, um, you know, I that to have my skill set can maybe uh, help me do a little more um, to help the team out. So I'm going to I'm going to try to work on that this offseason. Position wise, where do you think you belong? I mean, I'll play anywhere. Um, you know, I, I've been a first base my whole life, so that's probably where I'm the most comfortable, I'd say. But I love out. I mean, trust me, I love playing outfield, too. So wherever they want to put me and whatever um, works best for the team is where I want to be. Where do you see the future here? What does this look like? Uh, I mean, fans obviously say, oh, how long is this going to take? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping a lot sooner than a lot of people think. Um, we've got a lot of really good talent in, in the minor leagues right now, especially the lower level minors. Um, they had a great draft this year, and, and I think a lot of those guys can come up and help us really quickly, and I think we'll see a lot of new faces early on next year that, that can help us. And there, Yeah, there are some dudes out on the farm, really good arms, and, and I think that's the, the name of the game for us is, um, you know, we've got some really good pitching in the minors, so, um, you know, when, when those guys develop and get up here, I think you'll be seeing a, a pretty darn good ball club. All right, Trey, last question. I'd love your comment on the coming into the series, teams with the two worst records, talking about the first draft choice, not the way the player views it sometimes as opposed to the way the fan looks at it. Yeah, as players, we don't want the first draft choice two years in a row. We, didn't, we I mean, fans, I understand uh, where you guys are coming from. I'm, I'm a sports fan of, of uh, you know, teams in other sports too. But as a player, you, you don't want that um, title really uh, to have the, the first pick in the draft. So, um, yeah, we're going to we have, I think, 13 games left. And, and we're going to play really hard these next 13 games and hopefully finish here on a strong note. Well, good stuff right there from Trey Mancini. A good insight into the organization as well. I mean, uh, he's paying attention to the young players in the minor league system and anxious, obviously, about the future. And I think that's very encouraging to have, you know, Trey Mancini, really the team leader, understand that it's not going to be too long before some of these young, talented players come up through that we've heard all about.